Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Eric Gets Hot. Um, I've been putting this off for a really long time, uh, so I apologize um, to my friend Bucky who gave this to me. I've been making all sorts of excuses, um, claiming that there have been tight work deadlines that I had to uh, remain functional for at work and uh, that I've been too busy at home. Uh, most of that is true, but Bucky, to be honest with you, like maybe half of my excuses were just me being scared of this. <laughs> so this is um, Torchbearer Sauce's uh, Reaper Evil Hot Sauce. So um, the bottle art is pretty cool. It shows uh, the Grim Reaper with, um, looks like a knight of some sort. Um, and uh, they're playing chess. <laughs> pretty neat. Um, oh no, they don't paint it, they're, eat they're, they're eating. On a, on a chessboard or a checkered table. Um, anyway, as you can tell by the name, um, this is made with uh, Reaper peppers or Carolina Reaper peppers, um, which I know I think they no longer are, but they at one time they were the world's most spicy pepper. Um, this hot sauce clocks in at 6 million Scoville, Scoville heat units, making it um, by far the, the spiciest um, sauce I've ever had in my life. Um, so, um, you know, right away you can tell this sauce is really thick. It's this kind of strange um, light orange color. It's not uh, not exactly brown. It's more of an orange. Um, but if you've ever seen a reaper pepper, it is bright orange, kind of like one of those uh, poisonous dart frogs in the rainforest. Um, a sign that uh, very dangerous and not not to be messed with. The first ingredient is reaper peppers, um, and it's also uh, made with habaneros, which is another very spicy pepper. So, this thing is probably going to be pretty legit. Um, Bucky recommended that I use a toothpick to try it out, but uh, since moving to our new house, I can't find my toothpicks. So what I'm going to do is just put a dab of it on a tip of a spoon and try it out for you guys, and hopefully uh, I will not. Uh, you know, uh, suffer too badly. Although I suppose if I do suffer badly, it'd be pretty good, pretty good television. Um, all right, I'm gonna shake it up real good and uh, crack this open. Man, six million Scoville heat units. Ooh, it comes with like a little, I'll peel that off. Okay. All right. Ooh. I got sprayed with pepper spray once by accident. <laughs> it's just like that. Uh, all right, so here we go. I'm gonna put a, just a little bit on the spoon. I don't wanna, um, well one, my kid is sleeping. I don't wanna wake him up with shouting. Oh man, it's thicker than I thought. So I'm just gonna have a small amount like that, maybe a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna have just a small amount like that. See how it tastes. Is this too little? I don't know. I'm not gonna need a whole spoonful, that's for sure. But the last time I had a really spicy sauce, I put a little bit more. Okay. Ah, mouth is watering in anticipation. I'm uh pretty 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 scared at the moment. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa. Oh, 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 gosh. Oh, mm. there's no, there's no delay. Um, it is really, really hot. My mouth's crying right now. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, it's so hot. It is really hot. Um, I'm glad I had just a little bit. I should have used toothpick. This is really spicy. I'm gonna cap this before I spill it by accident and get all over my table. Um, I can't even tell you how it tastes because there's not much of a taste um, besides the reaper pepper taste. Um, as you can tell by how thick it is, it's pretty much just pureed reaper peppers. Oh gosh. So that amount probably should have gone into like a large pot of chili. Um, oh. 
and the expiration on this thing is roughly two years out so you know this thing is meant to last a long time basically anywhere that hot sauce touched my mouth right now is in pain so I can feel immediately in my uh, the top of my palate that's hurting my tongue is hurting a bit of it got underneath my tongue and that's hurting um, oh. I mean right now the taste is gone from my mouth but my mouth is still on fire oh gosh <clears throat> it kind of reminds me of after you have um, maybe had a really spicy um, Szechuan meal how burning your mouth feels after maybe 45 minutes or an hour of eating Szechuan food but this is immediate it went from zero to a million in you know half a second um, it, it ha doesn't ramp up it just kind of boom shoots up and plateaus at a ridiculously painful level oh gosh even now it's uh, quite bad okay um, this is the kind of thing that you might actually you know get stomach upset from if you had too much of it I don't think it had enough to, to do that um, but yeah this is pretty spicy this is a uh, very very spicy this this is um, torchbearer sauces Reaper evil um, uh, you know, if you're um, adventurous, I, I'd recommend it. Uh, if, you, if you're cooking with it, you know, I use it very sparingly unless you're a sucker for punishment. Um, whew, gosh, I'm going to be suffering from this pretty much all night. I think um, it hasn't really diminished at all in the last couple minutes. I've been I've been talking with you, and this is with like my my, my salivary glands going in hyperdrive. Ugh. <clears throat> Okay. Ooh, okay. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching me suffer. <laughs> Bucky, thank you for uh, donating the sauce to the channel. I'll probably bring it into work for you to try out as well because it's pretty, uh, it's legit. Uh, this is legit spicy. And um, you know, Bucky, I know you got some actual Reaper peppers in your possession. Um, yeah, be careful with those. Don't let your dogs get into them. Don't let your kid get into them. Um, wow, this is, this is bad. Okay. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Um, I'll see you next time. Uh, but until then, bye-bye.